She's so, oh so. Hey you guys, so for today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday summertime foundation routine and it's this look that I'm currently rocking right now. Just a nice, natural, glowy, flawless foundation look. I've really, really been loving this look. It's just been my go-to look lately. Of course, my lip combination changes and my eye makeup changes. So the star of the show in today's video is the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. This foundation right here, you guys amazing if you guys don't want to hear my mini review on this foundation you can fast forward to the makeup tutorial i'll have the time right here on the screen so if you want to fast forward go ahead and do so and for you guys who want to know my thoughts on this foundation here they are i purchased this foundation from my local walmart for about 10.99 now i don't own the l'oreal infallible matte foundation because i always felt like the shade was off. The deepest shade is the Cocoa shade in both versions of the Infallible foundation. This one is 212 Cocoa and I will say this foundation goes on looking like it has like an orange undertone which I do like. However, once you go on to blend the foundation out it begins to turn red. Once you go ahead and complete your face and you highlight and everything it comes together and I also noticed that this foundation seems to oxidize to adjust to my skin tone which i really love and watching other people's reviews i noticed that as well the ones who had the last shade which is coco and it looked a little bit off when they first applied it i noticed once they completed their face it looked flawless which made me want to try this foundation so i purchased this foundation on the first of july and you guys side note don't ever go on walmart on the first you might have to fight. So today is the 30th of the month and you guys, I wear foundation maybe about four or five times a week and trust and believe me, every day except one day out of the month of July, I've worn this foundation. That's how much I love it. And I love to switch up my foundations. However, like I just gravitate toward this foundation because I love it that much. This foundation claims to have a radiant finish it also says that it wears up to 24 hours. The coverage is supposed to be medium coverage as well as the texture air light. I definitely say the foundation gives you a radiant finish. I personally like to apply this foundation with a beauty blender or a beauty sponge. However, if you apply it with a brush, it does give off an even more glowy, dewy kind of finish. However, I find when I apply it with a beauty blender, it takes away that dewy look and just give you like a overall radiant glow and you guys will see that in the tutorial it just has a beautiful finish over the course of this month of me wearing this foundation i have worn it for a short amount of hours i have worn it for an extended amount of hours i definitely will say i worn this foundation for over 12 hours several times and it lasted all day now if you have oily skin which i have combination skin i'm incredibly oily in my t-zone area especially my forehead area but i tend to get dry patches sometimes in my cheek area because i have eczema on my right hand side of my face and that's where i tend to get dry patches wearing this foundation i notice it doesn't cling to my dry patches when i set it with powder it doesn't cling to my dry patches so it's definitely awesome in that regard so uh, with all that being said i definitely will say this is a long lasting foundation 24 hours is extreme because i don't think the average person wears their foundation for 24 hours if you are oily skin or if you want to wear this foundation for an extended amount of time use a really good mattifying primer i use milk and magnesia today and i tend to gravitate toward that when i want to make sure this foundation lasts me for at least eight hours it does hold up really well and y'all trust and believe it gets hot here in california like it's been like over a hundred i think it was like 108 the other day and yesterday it was 106 so if this foundation is standing up in this California heat, it has to be a really good foundation. I mean, it's my opinion. I'm, I love it. Like, this foundation is bomb. So the coverage, as you will see, 
in my tutorial it is definitely a medium coverage however it is buildable so you can build this foundation up to a full coverage if you will like and the texture is definitely lightweight i don't feel it on my face and i feel like that's probably why i gravitate toward it so much for my everyday foundation here for the month of july because it's so lightweight it gives me a natural finish and i just i don't feel it on my face and i love foundations that i don't feel on my face i used to be crazy about matte foundations but i noticed matte foundations like i feel them on my face after a while and it can be uncomfortable at times i just feel like this foundation gives you like a foundation and a bb cream in one and like i love that it gives you a nice finish just flawless and natural and it lasts all day with a good primer. It's just skin like, you can't beat it. To me, if you have dry skin, this is a must have. You're gonna love it. If you have combination skin, I definitely recommend this foundation. And if you have oily skin, I still recommend this foundation. That's my mini review on the L'Oreal Pro Infallible Glow Foundation. I feel like it's a must. And if you have the matte version of this as well as this version, let me know if the shade on the matte version is more red than this one. Because to me, the shade on the matte version looks so freaking red. I wanted to try that foundation so bad, but it just looked like Oompa Balloompa status to me. And I, I, I ain't about that life. I really ain't. But you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this mini review. And with all that being said, let's get into this everyday glowy summertime foundation tutorial.
Girl, the way we fell in love, it was almost instant. I'm trying to find a way.